Welcome Virgos and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 17th of January through to Sunday the 23rd of January 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So Virgos, before we jump into your overarching crowning message messages, I would like to share your channeled message that I received during the meditation for your reading. Um, for those of you that I am connecting with, um, we are um, entering a full moon, okay, on Monday the 17th. Um, and your, this is really uncanny because your card, okay, the full moon in Virgo um, that's, that's coming around, you're being guided to take an inspired uh, take inspired action. Your channeled message, Virgos, believe it or not, um, uh, whilst I was meditation, the message that I um, was given uh, to you um, that helps me to anchor uh, the reading was that you're being guided to take a leap of faith. OK, um, it almost feels as if you're it's almost feels as if you're being guided very much like your card here to almost throw caution, throw caution to the wind and just say, well, why not? Why not? Don't let go fear. Uh, why not? Why not take that leap of faith? Um, it's almost as if you're throwing it all and just like, why not? Why not? Why not take that inspired action? Why not pursue this person? Why not speak your truth? Why not go for it? OK, um, many of you are being guided to take that leap of faith. Uh, know that um, uh, I was seeing um, luck luck around you uh luck it's a very fortunate time whatever this leap of faith it is that you've got to do and your card definitely indicating to take an inspired action um i also picked up um virgos <laughs> i also picked up that many of you uh i feel have gone through some real serious trials and tribulations and uh, your spirit teams are coming in to, to let my teams know that you guys that I'm picking up, you're survivors, man. You're, you're survivors. You're the real deal, okay? Um, and do you know what? You have got the battle scars. You've got the battle scars either on like physically you can see them or spiritually. You've got the scars to prove how much of a survivor you are. OK, um, many of you, I feel that you're being guided that uh, whatever this inspired step is, whatever this leap of faith that I was given in your channeled message, um, whatever it is, you, you know that um it's bringing it's going to bring you healing it's going to bring you wisdom um and it almost feels as if it's going to affirm your strength as a survivor many of you may not be um too certain a little bit maybe apprehensive uh, about taking this leap of faith um just know this week clarity is going to come okay many of you that may be um during um the night time when you're sleeping during uh, uh through dream signs synchronicities visions okay and i feel that you're just being guided guys to just bask in the beauty of divine spirit because it almost feels as if you've got like a protective bubble around you uh whoever you are connecting with this person was heartbroken over something possibly heartbroken that you didn't take that leap of faith um and i or they were heartbroken via something outside of this connection i feel that this person is coming out very very vict victorious um after going through some real deep healing they may have had a lot of regrets over things that they said to you maybe they were confused did you like them did you want to move things to the next level a lot of confusion things that really kind of kept them up at night but it feels that it's not just you i think it was other aspects going on in their life um and i feel that this has put them in a very kind of uncertain position whether or not they should take action towards you or um 
or not, basically. Hence why I feel that you are being guided to take that leap of faith with this person. So that is your channeled message, Virgos, okay? Um, as I say, with this full moon coming in on the 17th, your full moon card is saying take that inspired action. Um, I ain't being funny, but that is not a coincidence that that is exactly what your card says, and that's exactly as clear as day the channeled message I got during meditating for this for your readings was to take a leap of faith okay um so uh many of, yeah so let, let's continue because I, I was just about to say many of you may not have taken that leap of faith due to um trauma tr due to trials and tribulations when it comes to relationships um and many of you have got the scars to prove it but you're being guided to know you're a survivor you're a survivor and you are a lot stronger than what you realise. And whoever you're connecting with, it feels as if the connection with them is part of your healing journey. It's it's going to show you the wisdom, the lessons of everything that you've been through, all those battle scars that you've received um, around the heart, uh, on your spiritual journey. It's like you're going to get clarity as to why you went through what you went through. Yeah. Okay, so that's your channeled message linking up with that one little card there. So let's have a look at and see what your channeled, um, what your crowning messages are um, in order to link all of this up. Look at that seahorse spirit watch and wait, okay? Um, I feel that many of you are being guided to observe the situation that you are in before you take that leap of faith. But many of you, you may need to um, pay attention to any kind of um, fear or anxiety. Um, you may also, I feel like because your spirit teams are coming in, communicating with my spirit teams to kind of say that you're going to be given some sort of clarity um and it, i they, they were giving me the night time okay so in my mere mortal mind i'm assuming that is through dreams okay dreams signs or synchronicities that is when your spirit team is going to speak to you i feel that there's something they want you to see before you take that leap of faith and that's why it's going to be inspired because it almost feels as if um it almost feels as if that divinity within you is going to all of a sudden you're just going to have this inspiration to just do it yeah but i feel that they're saying to you that there's something that you need to observe and possibly what that is um is that your person whoever you're connecting with whatever happens between the two of you they were really heartbroken OK, and I feel that I feel almost like a gentle touch is um, required. Um, it's interesting because you've got porcupine spirit coming as the next card. It's how can I put it? It's like it's like it's a prickly situation and it requires time for a beginner's mind. It, it requires you to look at something from a different perspective and i on i honestly feel as if you're being guided almost to like step into the shoes of the other person and it feels as if this leap of faith like throwing caution to the wind is just forget all fear forget whatever has gone on in the past but before you take that leap of faith it's like you need to be really aware aware of something that this person is going through in order for you to get the clarity of how you approach this person because it's going to be inspired and and those of you that are um like of faith of christianity um inspired it you know they say when the holy spirit inspires you you will just do something automatically you don't even have time to think you are just moved by the holy spirit and this is what this feels like it feels as if the leap of faith that you're going to take is going to be inspired it's almost as if it's almost as if you are not even going to do it. It's like you will just do it. 
But before you do that, I feel they're being guided to let you know that you need to observe something, observe and wait for your spirit team to reveal something to you because the situation may be a bit prickly. OK, so it's going to take um, um, a higher understanding, um, looking at things from a beginner's mind. Look, it's like you may have to go back to the beginning of when you first encountered this person or when you first met this person or when you first had those conversations about moving things to the next level. There's something that you didn't see and it's something to do with this heartbreak that I was seeing in your channel's message. Yeah. And so therefore, whatever action you're going to take, whatever this leap of faith is, it's going to be inspired. It's almost as if divine spirit universe will show you and guide you what to do, what to say with that leap of faith, throwing caution to the wind and almost allowing this pink that's around this circle, that universal love, that is the flow of divine spirit universe within you, moving you to, to look at something from a different perspective and then just take the leap of faith. And look at that, my God. White raven spirit, trust in the magic. Absolutely, guys. It's almost as if um, <laughs> exactly what I said Whatever this inspired action is, is almost as if you're going to be moved to take that leap of faith. And then you just need to trust in the magic. Trust in the mystery of why you're doing what you're doing. Maybe whatever it is you've made, do you know what it is? Maybe what you maybe what your what your spirit teams will guide you to do is to throw caution to the wind, throw the towel in and just go for it. And then watch and wait and see the magic of the divinity within you. Changing the situation that perhaps was a bit prickly between you and this person to a beginner's mind, a new start, a new beginning. Wow. Just clocked that. Watch and wait when divine moves you to take that leap of faith. But I also am picking up that this person was heartbroken about something and you may not have seen that. So that clarity that Divine Spirit and Universe are going to give to you, it's going to be um, at night during your sleep. Yeah, dream, sign, synchronicities. And then watch the magic happen. It's almost as if... Um, the clarity that your spirit team will give you is like the wisdom and the knowledge of that beginner's mind to almost like it's like the two of you having a bit of a do over. But you, you're the catalyst, if that makes sense. You're the catalyst um, to throw caution to the wind and just go for it. OK, let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom message is. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question? How does these soulmates? Whoops, there we go. And we have, oh, look at that, Deer of Delta. Crikey, cannot even believe that. Do you know what Deer of Delta is, guys? This is, this is divine showing that you're protected. And I picked that up. I did pick that up. The Deer of Delta is almost as if Divine Spirit Universe is um, protecting what is being birthed within this connection. OK, um, nurturing, cradling you, uh, letting you know that everything is OK. And if you may not have clarity of why you're taking this leap of faith. It's almost as if the force within you that inspired, like I said, it's like the Holy Spirit is going to move you and you, you're not your human brain is not even going to comprehend your being. I trust in the magic. Watch and wait. Whatever is prickly, it's you're going to be moved to take that leap of faith. OK, and so therefore, without any. Um, 
limitations or restrictions by opening yourself to divine spirit universe to work in you, through you and around you to take that inspired um, action as the full moon reveals and enlightens something to you, you will overcome any negativity, whatever this prickly stuff that was going on between the two of you, it's almost as if you will um, uh, uh, overcome it because you're protected. Whatever is supposed to be birthed with the two of you is protected. OK, um, I would say that many of you right at the heart of your nature of who you are um, is very gentle um, very nurturing, okay, and it is it's divine's way of protecting that, okay. Many of you are very very unique in your gentleness, your kindness, your compassion, okay, and just know that you can confidently and effectively um, call upon your spirit team to protect you when when you feel that you do need it okay or ask your spirit team for help they will answer you like i say many of you <coughs> you've got the battle scars of um heartbreak trauma loss bereavement okay and many of you may have called upon your spirit team divine spirit universe for cradling for protection for comfort and they've never let you down never let you down so it almost feels as if they're saying we're not going to let you down now trust us take that leap of faith okay whatever it is um this healing light within you and, and, and the light that you can call um just know just know that you mm, how can i put it you will never be forced into a situation like divine spirit universe will move you, but you still have free will. And that's why I feel that you're being guided within your heart. Be open to divine spirit universe, inspiring you to take that leap of faith, that action, and then trust in the magic. But you guys won't, anything that's negative, anything that was an obstacle, anything that was prickly in the situation, is it's like that's going to be cleared. And it can't, it's like it can't touch you and this person because it's like you're in this protective light being shielded basically all right always always being protected by that divine light that is in you through you and around you but also you have the power to call upon it when you need it okay wow okay virgos i was going straight for your advice cards <laughs> Okay, if this message is resonating for you already, Virgos, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Virgos. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Um, it's really, really appreciated. Um, existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I hope that you all get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading. Okay, let's get into your main love message. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmates of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 17th of January through to Sunday the 23rd of January 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Virgo that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right, um, Virgos, any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle, any of them that jump out on camera, I'll call them out for you. All right, let's have a look at this beautiful connection that's been protected. And you're being guided to take a leap of faith. Okay, so interesting. Uh, the Ten of Wands came out in reverse. So this is your person coming over, um, being reco the recovery, reunion, recovery, um, uh, having a, um, a new mindset. So if you do take this leap of faith, 
throw caution to the wind. If this person was a bit prickly to you because the connection was burdened, you taking that leap of faith puts them in a position of recovery. Yeah, of knowing that there is reunion, there is um, a blessing, there's peace, peace coming with temperance in reverse. Um, uh, many of you could be dealing with um, a Sagittarius or you could have Sagittarius. But what's really interesting with temperance coming in reverse, because temperance is all about balancing um, emotions. OK, balancing emotions, divine spirit, universe coming in um creating that alchemy okay creating that balance with it coming um out in reverse i feel that this person um either they felt really imbalanced okay um over the burden of this connection and it's almost as if the magic that comes in brings this person's alchemy into balance you know that that spiritual balance hence why they become like enter into like recovery recovery and that's possibly why i was seeing um like victory after deep deep healing so whatever went on with you and this person it i feel that it unbalanced them yeah there was an imbalance in the connection in some shape, form or another. So you taking that leap of faith, taking that inspired action towards this person, um, like has such an, a profound uh, effect on them that you're just being guided. Trust the magic. Yeah, trust, like watch and wait. Watch and wait. See this person almost blossom into... Um, like I almost am getting a picture of a beautiful swan and look at that watch and wait and look at what comes out of the two of wands and this person is watching watching from a higher perspective that's that time for the beginner's mind yeah I feel that this person is going to be at a, a, a bit of a crossroads as to what action to take, okay? Trying to look at things from a higher perspective if you take that leap of faith towards them. But I feel that they're gonna be hesitant what direction to take. It's almost like they don't want to misinterpret um, the action that you're taking towards them. For many of you, the two of wands is you don't know what action to take. What direction to take with this person? You both have... A fundamental choice here to almost take that leap of faith with each other and to trust divine timing to trust that the two of you are protected to trust that any negative or low vibrational energy that was around this connection is it, it can't get to you because of that divine light that's protecting this connection so with this, again, with the beginner's mind, you're being guided to look at things from a higher perspective in order for um, the leap of faith or the direction you take for it to be inspired, to be moved, almost moved by the flow of divine spirit universe within you, through you and around you. With the five of cups, I feel that many of you may have turned your back on this person. That's possibly why it created um, a real burden. It really unbalanced this person. And uh, I feel that many of you were really disappointed, heartbroken that you done that. And that is why I feel if you are feeling moved, that you want to take that path to correct an action of turning your back on this person, you're being guided this week to throw caution to the wind and go for it. Just take that leap of faith and then just watch the magic happen. Watch the turnaround of the connection. Yeah? Thank you. Wow. And that turnaround is you building a future with this person. The Ten of Pentacles.
Didn't I say that luck was around you guys? You guys, it almost feels as if um, this person may actually bring you luck when it comes to money. But you want to build a future. I feel that many of you do see a future with this person. You want to be a, build a future with this person. I feel that Divine Spirit Universe, the magic that's going to happen is that um, like both of you are going to come out really, really lucky. Like you two may be really like, you may be each other's muse when it comes to fortune, um, success, um, building a foundation that is happy, um, fulfilling, protected, nurturing. And so many of you are really disappointed. As you get that clarity, as you get that enlightenment, that this is somebody that you do want to build a future with, then you're at a crossroads. And that's what I feel as if uh, this week is going to enlighten you. It's going to show you um, what direction to take with this person because many of you are going to have a bit of an awakening that you do want to build a future with this person. But because you turned away, it's like you feel that disappointment. Don't feel that disappointment. It's like you're feeling the scars, the scars, spiritual scars of turning away from this person. It it it's 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 there. It's 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 prevalent. It's those spiritual scars are there. But what you don't realize is that you're a survivor. You're a survivor and you will prevail. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at the amount of tens that are coming up with the ten of coins. This person wants to build a future with you. Look at that right at the beginning and right at the end as it was at the beginning. And so it shall be at the end. This is a very divinely guided connection. Very, very protected by divine. Okay. Something is supposed to be birthed and it feels as if you walking away from that connection, not taking the path towards them, unbalance them. It blocked your future of fortitude. And so that's why the two of you coming together, not only do you um, birth this relationship, but the two of you may even birth uh, more money, more wealth. Like maybe even starting a business together. But all of a sudden as they come out, um, come into recovery, they see that a future is with you. There's judgment. They want that reconciliation. And it feels as if they know that they are being called to restore this connection. But you may have blocked it because you walked away from them. With the uh, Four of Swords, this person, during this period of unbalanced, feeling really unbalanced, wanting reconciliation, wanting to build a future with you, but you turned your back, which was burdensome for them, many of them were heartbroken. And we saw that in the channeled message with those three swords. You, they were heartbroken. And it almost feels as if this person needed to retreat in order to heal. That's why the situation is very prickly very prickly and I feel that this person is coming out victorious after that healing like I say when you take that inspired action that leap of faith which I feel that it's going to be something that divine spirit universe will move you to do but you have free will so I feel that you're being guided to just open yourself to be moved in that spiritual way with the uh, four of coins, this person is thinking about you all the time. You are in their heart. You are in their mind. They see you as somebody really precious. Really, you're really precious. In their heart, you're really, really precious too. It's like you have a place in their heart that is just for you. Yeah. And they don't want to let go of that. They, they never did. They never did. And it's almost as if when you take that direction towards them, they feel that that reconciliation um, is on the table. That's where temperance is now reversed. Feeling, you know, where they were unbalanced, not sure. It's like, look at that. All the work they put in is that now they're going to reap the reward. Yeah. 
So this connection has been nurtured, but they didn't get a lot back from you. Yeah, only one pentacle in that basket. And so that's why they are at a crossroads. They've got a choice to make. Yeah, is it is it reconciliation? Is it their call to reconcile, to restore this connection? I feel that they, uh, on their human level, wants to reconcile, to bring peace. But as you take that leap of faith, it's almost as if they're called, um, called to restore this connection. Look at that, the page of coins. Yeah, a serious conversation. You've got a choice whether or not to have this serious conversation with this person or not. And to be honest with you, uh, you're confused, yeah? I feel that that came out first. I feel that you're confused what to say, how to say. Many of you may be a bit fearful because, you know, you walked away from this person and really disappointed, really regretful that you've done that. But you're coming out victorious, because this person is coming towards you, still knowing that you are the one for them, still seeing victory in this connection, still seeing that they can uh, build a future with you with that ten of coins. Thank you. And with the king of coins, yeah, this person sees you as long-term commitment, marriage material. Uh, this could even be their energy, male or female. Uh, but whoever it is, I feel that it might be their energy because it's like you're thinking, you're it could be them coming towards you and you wanting to build a future with this person because you're ready. You're ready for long-term commitment, ready for long-term uh, marriage. And this person knows that you are the one for them. So it's like they encourage you. Like I say, this is this is a very lucky time for both of you. It's like you just reaching out to this person changes the game big time with this connection. Yeah. Changes the changes the landscape big time. And then like all of a sudden it's almost like you feel this yeah that you can build a future with this. Look at that. What did I say? It's like you can take the lead, you can build this future with this person. You feel strongly about it. Many of you, it's like you are going to control, put behind you that five of cups, that five of cups, because many of you are now seeing those two cups there that are protected, the deer of Delta. So it's like you're going to take action to lead, to like move forward and put this heartache, this disappointment behind you and move forward to build this future with this person. Could be dealing with an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. But yeah, it's like you've got to take that lead. Take that lead by taking that inspired step to put behind you any disappointment of turning your back towards this person. Notice how this five cut of cups is facing their direction. It's like you're taking control. Almost taking responsibility for, for, for walking away. But because they are open to you to have this conversation, even though you don't know what the heck you're going to say, it's like they're going to encourage you because they are going to come towards you victoriously. In How that's going to come about, I don't know. I'm not seeing any cups, but I'm seeing a heck of a lot of coins. So either this person is going to offer something solid, some sort of gift. They may even, I don't know, I don't know. They may even offer to lend a hand if you're struggling financially. I don't know. A lot of coins here. And the only cups here are the cups that have fallen down. It's almost like all look let's see look at those two cups in the back there what you're not seeing is the connection is protected many of you may have thought um that uh you'd lost this person and as they come towards you reciprocating this communication uh, uh being victorious you're going to be victorious in these talks it's like all of a sudden you're catapulted feeling inspired <laughs> to take that leap of faith and just trust the magic just trust how everything unfolds and then it brings you both to that beginner's mind basically getting a restart yeah 
a new beginning really beautiful let's have a look and see what your advice is my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell thank you and then we have joy look at that spread seeds of joy like a wildflower and no wild flower and no doubt you will revel in the results yes that leap of faith that's going to be inspired is um with no fear trusting in the magic of divine spirit universe bringing joy to the situation brings a sweet result of victory and change falling leaves do not signify the end but the beginning of a fruitful season so it's almost like what you both thought had ended it was only the beginning it was only the beginning of this beautiful um unfolding of this relationship divine spirit universe is giving you both a restart in this connection and thank you. And your final advice is risk, of course. Learn to grow wherever you are planted. I feel that you're being guided to take that risk, take that inspired action, take that leap of faith with joy in your heart and trust the magic that change is going to unfold in this connection. All right. Yeah, watch and wait for the change. <laughs> the magic is unfolding. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you, Virgos. Please don't forget to check out your moon rising and Venus signs for more information. If this message resonated, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.